Alright, so I've been trying to get my 72 C10 ready to test drive on the street. It's pretty much ready to go. It's insured and everything. I have all the accessories hooked up. But every time I go to pull it out of the garage, the accelerator pump isn't working. It, uh, this is the third time I fixed the same issue. The accelerator pump nozzles just keep getting clogged up. I never really plan on running a tube rail anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and swap out the stock tube rail intake and carburetor for an Edelbrock Performer RPM and a Carter 600 AFB. In this video, I'm going to show the problem that the accelerator pump was causing, and then I'm going to go on to introduce my new project, which is to uh, swap out the two barrel for a four barrel, and talk about some carburetors a little bit. Okay, notice how the engine just started up really, really quick, and it's idling pretty smooth at about six or seven in RPM. It's running pretty good. But what happens is, whenever you give it a little bit of gas, it tries to kill it. So I'm going to let it heat up a little bit. And then I'm going to show the problem. Alright, at this point it's already been idling for about maybe like five minutes. It's sitting about 150 degrees, which is good enough for it to, you know, it shouldn't act like a cold motor anymore. Alright, so check this out. I'm going to give it some gas and it's going to kill it. Alright, so this is what I'm dealing with. This carburetor it has to be full of fuel if it's sitting there idling. Okay, so see the accelerator pump nozzles are right here and they're not they're not spraying. So I'm gonna take this apart. To take this apart, just pull off this little clip that holds on the rod that activates the accelerator pump, and then just turn it to where it has a little groove where it comes right out. <laughs> I'm going to take this part one last time, verify that it's full of gas, and I'm done with it. The accelerator pump nozzles kept on stopping up before it. I fixed it already three times, and every time I want to go test drive the truck, they're stopped up and not spraying again. The reason I was going to run this two barrel to begin with was because I thought it was less work than swapping out for a four barrel, and I was going to do that later on, but it's turned out that as much time as I've been spending uh, taking this on and off three times to clean this out I might as well just went ahead and put the four barrel that I already had and that's what you see right here in the background that's it right there that's my performer RPM intake with the Carter 600 AFB on it this one I didn't want to run it anyway you can see the fuel bowl is full but it's not, it's not, the accelerator pump's not uh, spraying again. So it's got, uh, accelerator pump's not torn or nothing. And it stopped up again. Whenever you, whenever you push this down and you see it sp spray back here, it's, it stopped up. I already know that. You know, the two times that I've already done this to this carburetor, I've cleaned it out and I really have no idea what keeps stopping these holes up. The bottom's clean. So there you have it. These two nozzles are clogged up once again. You might not be able to see it in the video, but there's the nozzles and they're clogged up. Okay, so I went ahead and cleaned the nozzles out. I'm going to put this back on. Tighten it down, and I'm going to go ahead and see if it fixed the problem. Okay, just put the three bolts in, get your screwdriver, and tighten them down a little bit. And there you have it. Accelerator pump is working again. But you know what? I don't care. I'm not running this anymore. It, I don't. That's crazy how that does. Just keeps stopping up like that. But whatever. Okay, so even though I'm not running this car anymore, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on and test it out. The engine actually cooled down a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it warm up a little bit, and I'm gonna get a few whacks of the throttle and see how it how it sounds. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so it's still not perfect, but you can see it's way more responsive than it was. And that just goes to show how important the accelerator pump is and what effects it can have. And you have to make sure that it's working right. Okay, so I still have either a timing for timing light, but I just knew the carburetor wasn't working right. So let's just give it a few more whacks at the throttle and see how it does, and then let's go ahead and move on to the part where I'm going to change it over to a four barrel carburetor. Alright, so here's my four barrel intake and my carburetor. I'm just going ahead and take all the parts off of it, all the hoses and fuel lines. And one thing that I like to do whenever I have a, a car a setup that I'm going that to be tinkering with a lot. I like to replace everything with studs. That way you don't wear out the aluminum threads and, and you know strip out bolts and stuff like that. I'm also going to take everything apart just so I can clean this intake really good. It's been sitting up for a while and I don't even know what's in it. I kind of look down the water neck and it looks really dirty in there. And let's see what's inside. I have no idea what this stuff is. It looks like there was a coral reef growing in there. Anyway. Whenever you go to buy one of these, it's a good idea to, you know, double check all the holes, you know what I mean? A lot of people will try to sell you intake at a swap meet or something that has, that has strip holes and stuff. This one was almost brand new. One of my buddies gave it to me, and I put it on a truck that I had. It's a really nice intake and carburetor. This is a performer RPM intake. I think it's a double plane. But if it's a performer RPM, I think that's a single plane. I really don't know. Never mind. When choosing an intake, be you know keep this in mind how tall it is. This one's pretty tall. You see? On a truck it don't matter because you have plenty of clearance anyway, but I don't think this would fit on a Camaro. Like a third gen, I don't think it will. I think it would, uh you wouldn't be able to put an air cleaner on it. Okay, it's a it's a it's a double plane. See how clean it is on the inside? I'm telling you, it was like a brand new intake when they gave it to me. And I ran it a little bit and it just sat there and got ugly. It got all dirty. That's a that's a perfect intake. Well, the inside looks better than the outside. I'm telling you, I only put this that, that truck. I only ran this on the truck for a little bit, and then I parked the truck. Okay, whenever choosing your intake, you have two main uh, styles. You have a uh, square bores and spread bores. The square bore is the one that looks more like a square. All right, that's what an Edelbrock or a Carter AFB is. Even though they're slightly bigger, it's still a square bore. And the same thing that a Holly will, will work on. This is a Holly 800 double pumper. It's a mechanical secondary double pumper that I used to run on my 454. It has a choke taken out. And see how this one goes right on. You don't have to have an adapter plate or nothing. I really don't like seeing people grab a spread bore intake and then adapt it to one of these. I think it's neater just to go ahead and get the, the right uh, the right flange style or whatever you call it. Oh, that's backwards. No, 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 it's not. See, I actually like either one, but this, this carburetor is too big for a 350. Unless it was like some wild 350 with a huge cam and, you know, really good flowing heads or something. I mean, it'd have to be a pretty radical 350 to handle this one, I think. But if you were to put it on, it would run. It'll just probably 
it'll probably blow gas out the tailpipe or something. I don't really know. But it would it would definitely be too big for it. So I'm probably going to give you guys the best tip on tuning carburetors ever. Whenever it comes time to tune carburetors, <coughs> or your carburetor, don't listen to what everybody says. Don't listen to what I say. Go to the Holly website or the Edelbrock website and read front to back. Like on their tech pages or something that has a whole explanation for for Edelbrock's and or for Holly's about the you know about how the power valve works and about the cruise mode versus power mode and how to adjust that and all kinds of stuff. See, like this one, when I first put it on a on my 454, it had a lot of lean, a lot of uh, like flat spots. So what I did was I got on the Holly website, looked up what factory jets came in it and I found out they had went down about I don't know like five sizes or something they went way down on the on the primaries and secondaries I actually think the secondaries were up here anyway so I got on the website and it said that whenever you're using a single plane intake that they recommend starting out with two sizes bigger than the uh, factory sizes so I went ahead and done that for a starting point and it eliminated all the flat spots and it ran really good for a long time and also it talks about how to adjust the uh, the accelerator pump you're supposed to put a little clearance between here oh which mine actually does but one other way to adjust it is like whenever you barely touch the throttle you want it to start spraying that's how you get that's how you get them to have real good throttle response anyway so that's what that's why I like Holly's better than the Edelbrocks is because not only they look cooler they have this is more adjustable and then you have like the little cam that that rides in here somewhere in there it's right in here somewhere right there and it just changes like the rate and length of the spray or something so it makes it a lot more adjustable than this one that just has three different positions that you could put in this arm and change it a little bit which that's not as that's not as good but that worked fine see it doesn't look as cool it looks weaker it still looks alright though alright though that, that's about it for this video if you found this useful or interesting please like and subscribe the end